Hi guys, my name is Chris Beat, the drummer boy, and you are welcome to my channel. Chris Beats. Right. Reading, bounce, reading, bounce. Let your body move where the reading. So today, I'm going to show you how to make this sound. <laughs> Yeah, so guys, the first thing you want to do is get your headset. Ensure you are in a studio environment or you had you have um headphones on. Is to set your BPM to 97. You know, you could do more if you want to like make it a little bit different. So the idea of my tutorials is basically to give you a feel of how you can create something like this without having to necessarily copy this do you understand you know you want to be you know do better than this so we are recording from uh we're going to go in and check our sound to ensure that we have good sounds so sorry, sorry. yeah so that's the snare we're going to be using you want to go for the dry snare you know to give you that yeah, so the dry snare and our snare sounds something like this. Just like what I did now. So after that, you want to throw in more percussion. Um, after that, I did this. I think I did this guy here. So let's go. Ooh, I did hi hat. And if you notice something with the hi hat is. It's not straight. If you have headphones, it's coming from this ear to this ear. Listen to that again. You get So, I went straight to the tone. There's no... Because for a bounce like this, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to keep the people guessing. You go straight to it. So, this sound I did because I want... You know, when you're, I told you when you're making your beats, you need to like keep the people engaged in it. So I did this so that when you're in the club and you hear, you know, it's, it helps you to, you know, make your body shake and um, all them stuff. So you do that. It sounds like, sounds like that. And then I added some. I replaced my metronome with the kick, you know, so it sounds like this. You know, you can already feel the song coming together, you know. Body bounce, body bounce, shake that body, cut that sucker dance, body bounce, you know, so that's even a new song. <laughs> That's a new song, you get me? So it just you just have to be full of the energy. The energy you want the artist to bring. You should bring the energy first. After this, I wanted 808, but I didn't want 808. So I used a sign base. Um, a sign base is basically a sign base. It's a simple sound wave that sounds like... So I added that to serve as my 808. People have been asking me what 808 I used in this particular sound. I, I didn't use no 808. It's just a sine wave. So it gives me that. Body bounce, body bounce. Let your body move on the body bounce. That's my voice, by the way. Reading, bounce, reading, bounce. Let your body move on the body. Hey, hey. <laughs> so we have that one. And then we did... We, we we added uh, more sounds. You know, we added more sounds. I'm trying to see. Okay, yeah. So I added something to kind of like feel like they are playing it from a far distance, and while listening, but the, someone is adding a rhythm to it, but we don't know where the rhythm is coming from. I like to entertain my audience when making beats, not just wait for the artist to entertain them with the lyrics or anything. You know, so it sounds like this. You don't know this, but this thing is fucking with you like deep down. Deep down, in there, in the song. So 
yeah, after doing that, I added more stuff. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's like taking you through the arrangement, this thing. So by the way, I used two DAW for this one. I used Ableton Life and I used Reason. I've not used Reason in a while because I did this beat has been on my system for like a while. So that's why we have those two. So now I'm just strictly using Ableton Life. So after that, I added the have to know how to when to take out and when to add you need to know oh i need to add this thing now i need to take out this thing now do you understand so moving forward uh talk about the role so there's a way i create my roles that there are some days that i all i just do is make roles make risers make different stuff i think i have a tutorial on my instagram on how I make roll, how I made my roll, how I made my, how I do my risers, you know, simple, simple things that you can just, you know, implement. So this one sounds like this. Reading, bounce, reading, bounce. Let your body move where the reading, bounce, reading, bounce, reading, bounce. Let your body move, make your reading, bounce, bounce, bounce. So I just, I just, you know, bounce, the, 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 the kick. And then we have the road. The road sounds like bounce, 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 bounce. What did I do there? It's a normal. It's a basic roll that sounds like this. Bounce, bounce. You get i just added the filter and i let the filter sweep from left to right you know from the low to the highs so bounce. it sounds dope but it's not really that dope <laughs> if you ask me do you understand so it's like one of the simple things that you know you, it just takes you to think about it and then do it so bounce. Bounce. so yeah after that we come into this session here. Yeah, we come into that session. So for that session, I I played something that sounds like this. Yeah, so you could use any any plug sound that sounds kind of like this for that. It doesn't have to be this. Then you use your pitch bend to get. So yeah, we have that. I played that with however way I played that. I can't remember to be honest. So, but it sounds like. So I played it before as a loop, but I just ended up using just that section to lead us into the other part of the beat. So another thing I did was I have some stuff I created with, uh, with a vocal sample, a vocal, yeah, a vocal sample. So this is quite unique to Ableton. So there's a way you can create multiple vocal samples to sound on a particular tone. So if you press the tone once, it sounds like, if you press it again, it gives you another sound. If you press it again, another sound. You get, so if you go from, so it's not so mind-blowing but it is if it is for you enjoy you know so it's simple if you want me to make a tutorial on how to you know fix something like that please leave a comment in the session in the comment section and i'll let you know how to run that and if you use ableton and you want it please let me know i'll let you i'll link 
in the bio on how you can get that too. So you know I got you, so I got you. I see all the comments by the way. I see all the comments, but I can't reply. I'm trying to let them, you know, give me a way I could always reply to everything I'm seeing. So we can be in touch. So yeah, moving on. We after that the the um few things that I did, you know was play chords you know so i play chord i played chords before it was supposed to be just me you know there was no it was there was no yemi alade on it there was no skills i wanted to do just me just my vibe you know so i didn't really do chords but when um yemi had the beat and then she was like oh no 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 i have to be this i have to do this i have to do that like and i had to put chords on it so she could sing on it do you understand so i did this chord sorry it's just one chord there's no too much so i don't know what this thing is called whether you call it whether you can call this a counter melody but i'm playing the actual one here then I'm playing something that sounds like and I don't know. So the actual notes is playing the original thing. Well, this is not a piano lesson, so sorry. <laughs> if you don't get it, please take your piano seriously. <laughs> we have that one to give it that reggae feel. So if I play this now with what we had before, it should sound like After that, we have um, there was there's a particular sound there. I think this. One. Yeah, so that sound, the same thing. We swept from left to right, but now with someone's vocals, I think that was who again. I was just, I think, I think that's me. I don't remember, but yeah, I think that was me. Just ha, but I now had to chop it, you know, pick uh, is it the the vowel sounds now? Use only the vowel sounds. So that I have the uh, <laughs> so to pick out the sound to pick out the sounds deliberately. So after that, it's just basically arrangement, you know. So basically arrangement, and then how to place you, how to play your sound. So if you play what we had before till now, we should get. Let me see if I'm missing something. Let me just play. It. It's from my old Rex loop. You know, I've had this sample for like, for like what? Six years? Yeah. Always comes through for me because I didn't like, I didn't, I never used to like making um, like this rubber dub bounce. But, I grew, but it became very popular in Nigeria at some point. So I had to learn to make it. That's the thing. You don't stop learning. You know, if you have something you think I can learn from, you can put it in the comment section too. You know, so. And I've had this since. So anytime I try, to, anytime I want to use it, I just, I just use it a different way every time. You know, I use it differently every time. So, yeah. I added that to spice up the drop after we have after this place after this Let me see you let me see you bounce to the beat like sound 
is doing that. Yeah, so that gives us like you know another bounce, not just coming from you don't want after your drop and then you have a long eight bar that nothing is happening. So you want to engage your people if you are really doing ADM, you know. The king of new is saying if you are really doing adm you should make it interesting you know there's nothing interest if it's not interesting it's not adm you're probably doing one of you know what everybody's doing so yeah then we brought it down again because an artist wants to come on it so that's where i think that's where skills is coming in let me confirm yeah, yeah. so yeah i think that's pretty much everything you know from going from the beat i don't want to go if i go in depth on how to create some of those sounds it might take us like forever to finish but let me know if you want me to go in depth on how to create those sounds from scratch you know and if this made you happy please um click the like button click the subscription button subscribe to this channel if you like it if you don't like it click the dislike you know just do something react <laughs> don't click dislike <laughs> but yeah you know what i mean so uh that's how this whole song came about and the beautiful thing about watching tutorial is not oh you want to learn to make beats the beautiful thing about watching tutorials is that you want to learn the experience you know is oh what did, how did this person how was this person feeling when this person was making this how did this person get this you know if you love greatness you know greatness just simply comes to you so don't do if you like what you see like it if you don't like what you see just leave so thank you so much guys peace let me see you let me see you bounce to the beat like